Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic, where we are escaping the Leviathan. We still have one place to go. We are dealing with Dark Jedi Masters. So Oh, he went down fast. I imagine he went down to Karth. A lot of Jedi Masters seem to go down to Karth. In fact, was when there's a when there's a when there's a lightsaber used against us, we should just you know point them at Karth and say, "Hey, we'll we'll let you fight him." He'll run away out of your range and progressively wear you down with rapid fire attack while healing himself with medkits. It's a glass door. And my mouse decided not to... Oh, hello. I see a Sith Captain. I see two Jedi. I see a concussion grenade off of going around killing everybody. Hey, I hope you have a whole nother crew that you can use to uh, staff the ship, because I think we've kind of killed your crew. And your admiral, and a lot of your captains. Pretty much everybody down here. Ooh, look, long call, long drop. That is a non-active doorway. Is that something we can mess with? I'm going to say it's probably not. That is our ship. Anybody have passcodes or anything that we can deal with? Nope. That's either, uh, that door was either unactive because of security measures or because the plot says we don't have time to dawdle. One of the two. It's Malik, of course. Darth Malik. <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Reunion? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> no, our character's fairly dense. I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? Is this going to be a cutscene I have to stop? Yes. Hey, surprising no one. Oh, no, no. Oh, what a shock. It's our character. were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. 
How is that possible? You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi sent a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. How did they capture someone as powerful as Revan? I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. Why wouldn't the, the Jedi simply kill me? The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Why did you betray your master? You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Is this true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I... Where did they... Memories I have, where did they come the from? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Why program me with another identity? We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. I... Hey. Why you, Basil? Why did this council choose you? When I used my force powers to keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? What if I had remembered who I really was? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. That's why it was a risk the Council chose to take. seriously on the ship in the beginning. I understand, Basil. You had no other choice. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not, not fit to, to, to rule the city. Sith. I have a no small idea. part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there was some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Ah. Triumph, Malik. You seem to forget that I'm still alive. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. Of course you do that. Well... Oh. 
What am I? go. Drugs and uh, force powers. That's how I... And I, oh, I did not use grenades! Damn you, Malik! That's why I lost. I did not use a grenade against him. Urgh. Okay. It's locked. Can we get around here? I'm going to save. Use grenades against Jedi. I have to pursue him is what it is? You're locked. Okay. go this way? Hangar Bay. That's locked. Where are you? That's a useless door. That's locked. Can I open it? Possible. It didn't say skill too low, it said impossible. This is weird. This is not active. Y'all are still frozen. That's also locked. Can I unlock it? On it. Damn. Impossible. Okay. I think I already saved this. Okay. Let's see if loading... I don't mean to be a bit picky, but this is either a glitch or a very badly designed level. And I guess a glitch would fall into the category of badly designed anyway. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. We were just doing this. Oops, not that. Uh, that. Yeah, 
uh, we'll do a uh, battle stimulant too. And we'll throw a grenade. Are you going to run away again? You are. This isn't over, Mac. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! Are you going to kill her? I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. Ah. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Dang the you. door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. She's gonna come back dark side. We have to help Bastila her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! Or did you see his health bar? Come on! If we just go and team up on him! Oh, game, game, game. Urgh. I love the logic of this. Now we're gonna have a fighting sequence. Okay, so yeah. There are six of them, according to the cutscene. Now there are maybe four? Make that three? Two! I imagine they're, uh... Oh, I was right, there were three. Now there are two. But I may have to redo this section. But it just barely escaped. We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Can't help Basila, not unless we find the Starforge first. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? I'll tell them. I'm... I'm Darth Revan. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Kareth told me and Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big! Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Small bits, few strange dreams and visions, that's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Making them. Wish this wasn't true. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. I agree with you. I swore a life debt to the person you are, not to the person you were. I see what Juhani thinks. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. 
How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. Oh, I that's suppose you've proven this. yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? Ah. <sighs> What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. Of course you're you are. what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Oh, let's see what Kendara says. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. HK-47. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My program is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Okay, no telling what this means. Observation. That is unnecessary, Master. My intent is not hostile. I am receiving no combat override commands. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... Upon returning to my original master. Oh joy, you mean Ravon. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, master. Oh joy. I'm not exactly Revan anymore, HK-47. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malik himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. But, but where's Truhani? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. What? Well, Karth, I'm, I'm guessing they're only giving me the required, um... Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. They're not giving me the that Malik is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I won't let you down, Karth. I'm not Rev anymore. You have to believe that. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. How do you think I... you have to try... Vassals? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how to even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that Star Forge and save Basila. So let's do it before it's too late. And now we're on Tatooine. Okay, so my timer would have gone off during that if I had stopped it to avoid interrupting the dialogue. I will see you in a moment. I'm going to do the bit here. On, I'm going to. We're going to come back and do the bit on Tatooine. Actually, let's do the bit on Tatooine so I know because there could be more weird stuff to happen. So we're going to do the bit on Tatooine in a little bit to uh, talk to Mission's brother and probably talk to some of the crew here, Juhani first, for example, and then we'll go back to, uh, then we're going to go to Manon and deal with that, and then we're going to Korriban, and the reason we're still doing side quests is leveling.
I'd like to be level 20 when we next have the fight. I'd like to be overpowered. It is good to be overpowered. See you in the next video.